Diabetes affects about 40 million individuals in the United States. Despite the progress that we've made over the past several decades in diabetes research, it continues to be one of the leading causes of death, blindness, development of chronic kidney disease, development of peripheral vascular disease leading to amputation, and development of chronic pain in the form of peripheral neuropathy. Diabetes is a very common disease worldwide and very common in the United States. Between one in seven and one in nine individuals will develop diabetes at some point in their lifetime. And we don't have ideal preventative strategies and we don't have ideal uh, cures for the disease. The University of Iowa is uh, one of the leaders in diabetes research. Our investigators are involved in um, multiple facets of uh, diabetes research from investigators involved in understanding the development of diabetes, how we can better manage diabetes, and the development of novel therapies for diabetes. We also have investigators that are involved in understanding how diabetes drives some of the complications associated with diabetes and how we can treat those. The partnership between the University of Iowa and the Fraternal Order of Eagles have led to the creation of a world-class center focused on diabetes research. The University of Iowa has a very unique uh, diabetes research center. We have over 100 faculty involved in diabetes research and we bring in over $30 million annually in NIH diabetes-centric funding. We have partnered with the Fraternal Order of Eagles to develop a unique program that we call the Bridge to Cure program. This program is specifically focused on developing new therapies for type 2 diabetes. In addition to the Fraternal Order of Eagles Diabetes Research Center, we have a world-class clinics that are taking care of patients with type 2 diabetes. These clinics are also translating the basic findings that are coming from the basic science to the clinic. My research interest is in trying to understand why individuals with diabetes are more likely to develop vascular disease, in particular peripheral arterial disease, which is a cause of impaired blood flow to the lower extremities, often leading to need for limb amputation in individuals with diabetes. Our research sits at the intersect between genetics, vascular biology, metabolism, and skeletal muscle physiology. In that context, we've actually identified genes that are protective against ischemia in individuals that are not are diabetic. We've now studied those same genes in the context of diabetes and found out that expression and function of those genes are altered in the context of diabetes. My research interest is in pancreatic islets. I'm particularly interested in the regulation of lipid metabolism uh, through the eye of lipid droplets. We use the human islet, which is a very variable resource and look how the uh, regulation of the lipid metabolism changes and the stress conditions associated with the type 2 diabetes. And we also use the mouse model and the rat models as well because the diabetes happens not only with the pancreatic diet problems, but as a whole body. My research interests are focus on cystic fibrosis related diabetes, uh, which is a very unique and rare form of diabetes, but it has a lot to teach us about the physiology involved in diabetes and specifically beta cells. We really span bench to bedside and bedside to bench. I do my research primarily in cystic fibrosis related diabetes mellitus, and I'm a clinical researcher. So I work directly with patients with cystic fibrosis. My specific area of interest is kind of the underlying pathophysiology in the early kind of pre-diabetes and the early onset of diabetic changes in people with cystic fibrosis. Our current big study is a multi-site study where we are the coordinating center. The primary goal of the study is trying to figure out kind of the normal range of glucose values in people with CF so that we could really get a full spectrum of patients and see what their actual glucose and insulin values are. My research is focused on the complications of diabetes and how diabetes develop. So we know that obesity is a major risk factor for type 2 diabetes specifically, which is the most common form of diabetes. And what we are trying to do is understand what are the mechanisms that regulate body weight and food intake, uh, what are the biological processes underlying this regulation. 
Another aspect of my research relate to the complications of diabetes. More specifically, we are interested on the uh, development of high blood pressure or uh, hypertension in diabetes and, and obesity. I'm extremely proud of the Fraternal Order of Eagles Diabetes Research Center. It is a very youthful and energetic and collaborative and synergistic diabetes research center. And just, it's exciting to come to work every day because of all of the faculty here that are focused on this problem of diabetes. I'm excited about the future of diabetes research at the University of Iowa. Within the Diabetes Research Center, I'm hopeful that we will have knowledge integration that will advance our current understanding of uh, diabetes vascular complications and lead to future therapies.